Sonic music. All right, Some, let's uh, wait. John Williams adjacent music. Yeah, if you let's will. wait for people to get back. Okay. Oh boy, going in hot. Coming in hot. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I have never seen the interceptors on the table. Absolutely never. Yeah. How's it going, everybody? Let me know if you guys are still in the chat. I had some broadcast error issues here. We got... <laughs> this is the Tri-City Tournament. My name is Nick Sperry. I'm joined by... Alex Sayers. Good to be here, Nick. This is super exciting, aside from the very frustrating moment of weakness that my streaming software had. I had to restart it real quick. Um, we have two scum lists here. I picked, pulled the list knowing the Gurry Fen list. Didn't know it was up against another Gurry <laughs> Gurry list. So this is going to be a really interesting matchup. Let's break down these lists real quick, folks. On the left side, we have the Midwest Scrub, Dan Peterson. You guys know the Midwest Scrub uh, is a very awesome, thoroughly well-written blog about X-Wing. You guys should check it out. Dan is the, the lead main guy for the blog, and Matthew Carey, another great, super nice X-Wing player, uh, helps write uh, posts for them as well. We got Gurry and Fen for Dan over here. Let's take a look real quick. This is a classic fat Gurry list. Gurry without maneuver, advanced sensors, advanced proton torpedoes, afterburners, Virago, and shield upgrade. Gets the three shields after all that. Fenrau with Fearless, classic. Alec, you want to talk about the list on the right? Stefan's sure. list here? Sure. So over here we have that Gurry once again. Uh, I think it's the same build. My cards are not loading exactly, but we've got the Gurry. We've got the out maneuver. We got the advanced sensors. We got the stealth device. We got the shield upgrade. We got Virago. And then over here, we have, as I was just saying, uh, I've never actually seen Interceptors on the table, but that's just more my ignorance to uh, watching tons and tons of X-Wing. We've got uh, two Cartel Spacers with uh, Auto Blasters, and we've also got Sunny Bounder, uh, and uh, also with Auto Blasters. So that's what we're looking at, some scum we got ability. Some dice rolling scum already here. Gurry taking yeah, the shot into green, because he has cause the lock, he's going to... Looks like he spent the lock. No damage here. Rolled out of it. He's fine. He kept the lock. Yellow should have a shot in a Gurry now. This is range three. Gurry does not have stealth device, so is not going to be rolling five dice here. Stealth device Gurry is a little risky. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing. Nothing for yellow. This is going to be real. These shots are basically Hail Mary pot shots, especially on modded. Trying to get in a better yeah. position. I don't think the two of them are particularly surprised because they came in so hot, but it is still, you know, range three for all yeah. the shots at this first engage. Right. All right, let's switch this in. I'm wondering, I'm looking here for our wonderful Tri State tournament. We got this beautiful bingo card we are keeping track yes. of with all day. I'm trying to see if there's anything we could particularly look into uh, seeing in this first engage. So we got our free space. Free space. Do we have? I think the spacers went pretty fast. I believe they did do five forwards. So we have our different tokens: Candid Clarinetus, and we have three one two squadron and Nickel City X Wing. There it is. There's the bingo token for Nickel City X Wing. This is a Tri City tournament. There it is, at the bottom there. I'm actually gonna switch over to spectator real quick. Undisputedly, the best three cities to be put together into one trifecta. Oh, absolutely. Buffalo, no, Indianapolis, and Chicago. The three biggest I mean, cities in the world. I mean, look at that skyline. When you put the three together, there's no competing. There just truly isn't. No. Get out of here, New York. Get out of here, LA. Get out of here, Seattle. I don't know. Get out of here, Hong Kong. These are the three. Hong Kong. So Red right. Dial's here. Yeah. So where do you, what do you where do you think what do you think we're gonna see from Dan here with Gurry? The Gurry is slippery. Yeah. True. I think Dan's trying to pop in right now with um, uh, with Fen and just get a quick kill on one of these uh, little spacers that are that are out here. I think that's his plan. Is he wants to kind of zoom in between these uh, clouds that are either a little high or a little low, get in behind one of them and quickly. Um, quickly pop one of them off because they're they're little they're fragile little cannons yeah uh they the Sikhs are a really interesting ship because they 
have a lot of power with their auto blasters and they have sometimes you see them outfitted with with tractor beam um or ion cannon turret or rather the ion cannon um config forum which i believe is a not a turret slot but a late a cannon slot yeah just a standard ion cannon uh so they can bunch up and be used as pawns for blocking or they can hit real hard with those uh additions as cheap upgrades um, but here, this, these guys with auto blasters, essentially, it's going to give them bonus die if they land a bullseye. Since there's three of them, there is a higher chance one of them gets bullseye on yeah, a ship. Having them so. lined up like that is really, yeah. really interesting. It's okay. kind of high risk, high reward. You know, if we can get someone in that bullseye, that's lots of red die. And if not, kind of a rough spot to be. Yeah. I didn't realize, uh, so they have one hearts, which are one of the best maneuvers in the game. Mm -hmm. One of my personal favorites. Yeah, the only thing the Star Vipers... Are we talking about? Sorry, are we talk about the vipers here. Sorry, are we talk about yes, the I'm seeks. Still on the, uh, yeah, the, uh, interceptors. But, the interceptors. Yeah, 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 they, they, the seek dial is really interesting. They have one hard, so they can tight turn, but their, their, their inability to boost, I feel like, can hurt them sometimes. It makes them more predictable. Um, sure, a bar barrel roll could get them in a better spot, but the inability to link actions to boost can hurt them. So yeah, here is very right in the side. Yeah, we might see. A barrel roll back it and out back towards red side of the board dan's side of the board here um because he doesn't want to be taking two shots especially a range one shot here unless he feels like he could kill yellow with a real I lucky shot the, i bet he's going for the initiative how much how oh he's going to take the calculate he'll be rolling four he so he'll get the focus token because there's a ship at zero to one and then he'll be rolling four dice um is what he needs. He's not. He doesn't take the lock. He doesn't move the lock. I don't think he has greens. The green seek an arc for the range one advanced proton torpedo. But it is possible if he does, that'll be a real nice shot. Fen doing what Fen does, coming right into range one of Guri, the other right Guri. Look at that. Now you've flown a lot of Fen Rao in your day, so I'm sure that. Uh... It makes you feel good to see him on the board here. Oh, I love Fenrau. Fenrau is fun. He's a, he's also a pretty rewarding ship. Um, mm. he, he, with Fearless, it allows him to roll a little bit better. That's a pretty bad shot, though, from Fen to start oh. it. Forgot to roll the extra die. Three blanks, gonna Fearless for hit, hit, crit into Guri. I think so. To be, I, he rolled it, but it landed outside the box. So yeah, he just re-rolled it. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, that's not... Gurry, to go to. I mean, it's going to spend the focus. No damage, though. Yeah, yeah. But the key is that Fen did not have to spend his. So mm -hmm. he is a real nice chance of getting... Uh, taking no damage here on his... Uh, res res the shot he receives from Gurry here in a moment. This, this might be the uh, the two lists in this tournament that have the most green die. If you add it up on each side. <laughs> yeah, of the, outside of the... The uh, Baron of the Empires, the Inquisitors. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably right. Looks like that's going to be... Is that a crit or a hit? It's a little little crooked there, uh, I think. That... We got two crits in the chat. Two so... crits. Fen is fine. Concordia for four. <laughs> four of AIDS for Fen Rao. Fen's got this sweet red paint job. Does he have that for you, too? It's not even, it's, he just tinted the ship um, red. You just right click. Yeah, it's not even like a paint job, I don't think. That, see, I don't even know these these tricks, these TTS tricks. All right, looks like now Gurry, I thought Gurry already shot. Here we go. Oh, that wasn't the first Gurry shot. Got it, got it, got it. So this is looking to pop off one of these seeks very quickly. And that is... Do you, do you, he, he does he have the target lock, or he has the? Yeah. He no, he doesn't have that ship in arc, does he? Oh, he does. He does clip yeah. the bat. That is the advanced proton torpedo. There it is. And that's gonna be a bingo space as well. Ba -ba -ba bingo. Oh boy. So, outmaneuvered as well. So only rolling two dice. It's gonna sp gonna have to spend the focus there. It's gonna take two taking two crits that's two plus crits that's another bingo as well hey oh so it's gonna be shield first and then the crit the crit is 
A damaged engine. Ooh. And here I am talking about how great their one hards are. That gets pretty bad with the damage engine. Oh, yeah. And as I kind of mentioned earlier, you know, you, you said lining up this bullseye was the goal, and it unfortunately did not pay off in this exact round, and the force to take kind of some weak arc shots. Oh, yeah. So we got green, taking the shield, and in a fact, hole with damaged engine. Sunny, I don't think Sunny has a shot. I think it's no, just no shot. And, red yep so this is this is your chance to to plink a couple shields into gurry if you ever had one mm -hmm. we'll see what happens here this every stream of scum that's hilarious huh? every stream, every of, stream scum. of scum right now that's that's funny that was not a coordinated effort although it probably feels like it x-wing puns coordinated could you imagine if we got hired by disney to promote book of boba fett i mean geez that's exactly what should be happening Where's our booker? Book of Boba Fett. Ayo. All right, looks like we have a shot from yellow at... Oh, man. Curry. And that is a rough... Did you only roll two dice? You rolled range one attack, and he rolled two dice. Um, Maybe very... he shot at Fen, then. Oh, he, he did. He is shooting at Fen. Because Fen spent the focus earlier. True. I guess that uh, makes sense. Fen is... Yeah, no, you're not going to do anything with this. Bad shots. Nothing. So big win this first this key first engagement here, or rather the second, that first one, some pot shots. But this is to me the real first engagement. Maybe, one. Maybe engagement one point five, if you're gonna call it anything. But if you're if you're Stefan, you're very happy with the result considering what could have happened, right? His Gurry facing off at range one with a token to Fen Rao didn't take a damage. Mm -hmm. But did take half points on the Seek. The Seeks aren't really worth any points, though, in the long run. If if you can keep them alive and together, focus firing, you're not too concerned about losing that small amount of points. So we'll see. He might, I probably predict either a couple of turns is try to set up a block. You can't ever really block Guri, though, because of advanced sensors. So do you try to block Fen or do you just K-turn? I think the K-turn is safer, but we'll see. I'm going to check up on Bingo here real quick. So we got a double modded attack. We got two crits at once, suffer two plus crits. That's true. We got an outmaneuver. You said we have the torp, right? That's what that uh, five die roll yes, was? Yes, sir. Awesome. Boom. We didn't have, we don't have anything else here yet. No linked actions, no natties, no tactical bump, no evade actions. Being at the stream table has many advantages, including the fact that we're going to manage the bingo card for them. Yes. <laughs> How's it going, Ted? I want to give a shout out to uh, Dr. Weston for the subscription. We are doing a giveaway. I'll be talking of several giveaways. We'll be talking about that in a moment. This is the Tri-City Tournament. Thank you guys for tuning in. We did have some issues getting started here for a moment. But we should be in the clear now, and we're just kind of playing a little bit of catch up because these players started in the get out of the get go, going real fast. So we were like got off guard. Fast. <laughs> You're like, going fast. Look at this; they're already ripping into these, as you kind of predicted, right? You said there's the K turn. Yeah, K turns are safer because the gas cloud gives you coverage from Fen turning in, Absolutely. and you get your arcs back in the right place. Just clear, clear the stress the next turn, facing the correct, the right way. That's the thing is that time matters in these games for these kind of matchups. Now it looks like I and we missed it because we were so obsessed with that bingo card. Um, he started with the red uh, cartel spacer or orange. Forgive me on my color, um, and he bumped it. Uh, that was on purpose, I suppose, trying to create some kind of uh, uh, blocking for Gurry over here. I don't. I I don't know if that was intentional. I don't think it was, um, especially because you can't block Gurry. It's impossible. Um, well, listen, if it works really well, he gets to say uh, there it's it totally is. intentional. So, Gurry's, both Gurry's facing off here. Uh, yeah, you have to do the barrel roll, and look at that. Unbelievable. Gurry's bendy barrel roll out with moving second. Wow. Very we did not get betting going for this game, folks. Uh, we, we will be doing betting for the next game. Uh, we just, they were going way too fast. Just uh, two, the minute delay didn't give us time to get betting in 
So and we a will be doing event for Dan because he just bumped. Uh, I think he's okay with that though. I, I think he's only taking two unmodded shots. Um, the third one in the fen will be through a gas cloud, so he'll be able to get out of that one fairly easily. Mm -hmm. So Guri gains the focus because there is an enemy ship at range. Zero to one. When you uh, when you put this bot up on YouTube, you need to do the Spider-Man meme with a couple Guris. <laughs> I do have a soundboard as well. Oh, hello. Yeah. You got that programmed and ready to go? Hello there. You got that Spider-Man meme hello, ready? Hello, 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 hello there. Oh, yeah. Hello, 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 hello there. Move my camera and see if they're Guri takes a damage. That's again, all things considered, being outmaneuvered there, only taking one damage. Stefan's very lucky so far. Mm -hmm. This is not a good matchup. The, the worst matchup for a outmaneuver Guri list is an outmaneuver Guri list. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> and Dan has a 23 point bid. His list coming in at 177 points. That bid really helped him out there. That was a really great little. Yeah. So here's the range three in a Guri or Fen, who you got? Safe. Good. The only shot you got. Right on the edge. For two hits. For one hit and an eyeball. Safe. And nothing for the bumped Red Seek. You guys might be wondering, what the hell is this matchup? You're right. It's pretty silly. It's one of those... Gas clouds and Gurry. Yes, gas clouds and Gurry. <laughs> All right. And Back to it. Record, these two are cruising. They they are. I have no time to talk about anything else right now. It's, it's insane. It's like, all right, guys, just giddy up. I mean, Nick, I know you asked me to be here for my colorful language and thoughtful commentary, but uh, I'm sorry. I'm trying real hard to fit it in amongst this tight play from the two of them. <laughs> it's hard. Do we add anything to the it bingo is. card off that quick, quick round? I'm not sure. If you don't mind helping me out with that, I've just got to run a couple. Things, What's a couple our things? criteria for simultaneous fire? Uh, is that having two gurries shooting at the same time, or is that uh, like last salvo stuff? Uh, it is... So simultaneous fire, if one of them dies, and the other one has the opportunity to shoot back. Going, okay, yeah. got it. Mm -hmm. so that's what we'll be doing for that. Got it, got it. My follower goal is not updating, which is great. I actually paid a subscription for this like fancy overlay thing for like goals and stuff, and it's fantastic how it just doesn't work. <laughs> it just doesn't update. All right, we have a brief moment, a brief moment. How's it going, guys? <laughs> All right, we have we have a brief moment here in the, in between the action. Welcome to the Tri City Tournament. My name is Nick Sperry. I'm joined by the one and Alex only. Sayers. Both sorry. local guys uh, we, here we in Chicago, really good Illinois. Last time, so sorry. I did really good jumping in, and this time I just talked over you. So we should. No, go you're back fine. And try that again. Yeah. Try it again. <laughs> How's it going, guys? My name's Nick Sperry. I'm joined by the one and only Alex Sayers. There it is. Yeah, We're here, two, oh, <laughs> two local players from Chicago, <laughs> Illinois. Get ready to make some Illinois in the chat. <laughs> Ooh, did you just come up with that? That was good. <laughs> no, nah, it's a Sufon Stevens album called Illinois. Oh. Oh, but I'm I'll, I'll take the credit for it. I will take the credit for it, for sure. Okay, fair enough. You cited your sources. I did. That's responsible. <laughs> so we're here, uh, dialed we... our set. Um, yeah. This is third engage we're going fourth engage we're going into here these two players have been flying through if you're just joining us um and we got gurry versus gurry pointing at each other yeah Django zam got nuked oh brutal oh cannon's Zam's match is over unbelievable 50 what? minutes left 50 in our game and there is already a game over Django Zam getting nuked. I, to I I firmly believe that that list is a crutch. It's not that good. People that play it 
nothing, nothing against them. I know there are plenty of good players that play it, but it's just, it's dumb, and it's not as good as people think it is. So I'm glad to see that it got nuked, but hopefully that player does well in the rest of their games. Wow, that was like 12 hot takes, Nick, at once. I feel like we have to unpack all those. Well, here's the thing. my I'm not a huge fan of Zam's like, condition cards because I feel like it's kind of like a slippery slope into making really confusing condition cards for pilots down the road. I don't like that that mechanic, and I think it can be really confusing and overwhelming for new players. Actually, very overwhelming for new players. That's my take. Um, I'm not a new player, but that's just for what I see. It does speak, obviously, this game has been around for a very long time and through various versions, and the complexity of the game overall obviously has gone up from just pointing ships at each other and remaneuvering to how many different abilities and ways can we uh, mess with that. And obviously Zam's, I would, you know, between Zam's and then maybe Obi and Annie's new cards, um, you know, that's what we're really pushing complexity to a whole new place. Yeah. All right, I gotta. I have all the crit animations I have to bring over to this scene, so I'm doing that real quick. Go ahead and lead Alec for me real quick while I do that. Hello. Okay, well, we got people Hello. moving here. People we, are uh, moving. <laughs> people are moving. Uh, we got Bjorn, who is taking a target lock, it looks like, on that Fen Rao, on Dan's Fen Rao. Uh, Fen for those who might be confused, Bjorn is, is Stefan um, in the overlay. Oh, Go see? Ahead. This is good to know. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you're fine. Stefan and Dan. Neither Stephon of the names on TTS helped me, but that's okay. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Who's following? We got, uh, this is CN Richard. CN Richard. Richard. CN Richard. We also got the Raffle Copter. The Raffle Copter followed. Look after. Spike Spiegel 11 has followed. And Weston earlier subscribed. We're doing, so, we're, guys, we're doing a lot of giveaways. We're going to be giving away. 312 Squadron participation prizes. We're going to be giving away swag from Worlds 2019. Alt art cards from Worlds. If you want and you can, consider subscribing to 312 Squadron. Supporting us. It means a lot, you guys, just being here. Thank you for the follows, guys. Thanks for giving us your time. Super, super excited about this tournament. We put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into it. And we're really, really, really happy with how... Uh, things are shaping up so so dan just moved uh he has the bid here and uh looks like his great yeah his great got bumped so the seek did bumped. its job i think he's okay with that though it's a deliberate bump yeah he didn't take an action early which he could have done yeah. right with uh advanced sensors right he but he wanted the focus he just wanted to get into a spot where he takes the fo he gets the free focus no matter what here because of the ships that are touching him yeah, I'm just wondering. I don't think because it was a one hard. I don't think he expected it, and unless he took a target yeah. lock, which I don't think he did. Here's here's Fen Rao's juicy five die shot. So he does fearless. He gets uh, two hits and a crit. Has the focus there, and I think he's considering. No, he's not. So he two hits and a crit. Rolls a single evade yellow. That's on Shield yellow. Shield should... and a crit. Half points on yellow. So that's half points on yellow and sunny bounder, right? Yes, sunny, sunny bounder. Yes, because sunny well. took that crit. Yep, yep, yep. The little guys are getting popped off. They're Although getting... I will say, definitely being Holy... more resilient than I expected. Loose, here. loose stabilizer. Ooh, pull up that animation. I got it. It's playing. Zoom. Loose stabilizer. After you execute a non-straight maneuver, suffer damage and repair the card. It's something that people forget. Um, you do you get to repair it at least so Guri's taking a shot here at sunny bounder so that was into uh, stefan's Guri. to be clear we're still in still yellow attack. look at all that red does that count as something on the bingo card isn't that no i guess there's all that red <laughs> all that red did he just roll four hits i he stepped away for a second hits. oh well he and he didn't four hits. And Sunny he's after... off the board. Yep. Gurry doing Gurry things. Sunny Bounder goes down. Let's hit the soundboard. I bet it's a great sound. I don't know what it is, but I bet it's It's, it's Palpatine saying, like, Help me, I'm too weak. Don't kill me. Please. <laughs> 
Sunny Bounder dead. F's in the chat for Sunny Bounder. We're getting our first auto blaster attack here. It looks like as yellow shoots in at Sunny. I saw at um uh, uh at Fenra. Yes, sorry. I was hovered over the target. How dare you. I was like, that's not Sunny Bounder. Um yes, yeah, so we got our first auto blaster shot, and it is a disappointing one. Yeah. Rerolling, no okay. Disappointing one. Yeah, it is a good spending shot. Spending the lock, so you get three hits. Fen Rao usually shakes it off anyways. Concordia for three. Uh Concordia. So good. Oh man. Uh, Woo! <laughs> I target say... lock? Was this target lock TV? Thank you for the follow. Appreciate you swinging by. Alright, next shot here. It looks like. Oh no. Oh, we're back to dials. That makes sense because uh, Dan has the initiative. So something I'm noting here, obviously, in their list building, Dan was like, well, I'm going to spend a bunch of points so that I can get Fenral. And Stefan was like, well, I'm going to spend a bunch of points and get these three uh, cartels. Yeah. And at this point, looking at the board now, I'd be much happier to have the Fenral, you know, than one and a half uh, Seeks. We get it. We got an obstructed. No, it was no obstructed damage. Bullseye trigger. That we will count that for auto blasters. Oh, absolutely. Good call. We got our people in the chat paying attention to the bingo card, or is that you? Uh, I'm I'm doing my best because I typically am really bad at paying it to to getting everything. Yeah. But um, I am doing my best. We did get an initiative kill as well, but I might have swapped that out. No, that there it is. So we are at three tokens at once and a bomb drop. No bombs in this one though, so we won't be getting that that way we might have we might have gotten it fits at least twice at this point um i don't know how close you're measuring and it's fit yeah it's got to be like i have to be shocked that it didn't bump like if the zoom in and be like what all right all right <laughs> all right folks we have a second while they're planning let's go over the prizes for the tri-city tournaments all right participation prizes a set of the tri-city target locks all right we have from left to right indianapolis Chicago, in Buffalo, New York, Indianapolis, Indiana, of course. <laughs> if, if anyone needed me to say that. Uh, a set of target locks there. Uh, super, super hyped about those. Those are from Curled Paw Creatives, Andrew Knuckles. Shout out to Andrew. Uh, they are amazing. They turned out great, and we have a ton of them. Super excited. We'll be giving away some of those. We have a couple subscription goals. We're going to, fingers crossed, try to hit so I can give away a lot of really cool stuff. I have plenty of awesome dope things i'd love to give out we also have for participation prizes we each made an alt art card so classic greg from nickel city x-wing making the kurt russell heroic card from miracle again again so Wait, that's i didn't realize that he did <laughs> yep that's uh <gasps> that's, i gotta uh, talk to him about that oh yeah my I'll, I'll get you one of those and then 312 squadron making that's us that's us! That's us. Vader Defender Alt Art Pilot Card. We'll be giving away some of those. If we hit 15 subs, I'll be giving away some Vader Defender Alt Art Cards I made myself. I'm not a pro, but I did spend a lot of time and try hardness into making it. So I think you guys will be pleased with the way it turned out. And then I'm from pleased. Candid Clarinetist Sam Rothstein from Indianapolis to Corgi Prockett fantastic card love it it's super wholesome but also prockets are super deadly and scary so it's like luck the juxtaposition of feelings there the top 16 players will receive a set of wood force tokens from strata strike shout out to mark from strata strike amazing i have the scum templates uh wood templates they're incredible we we'll get back to the game in just a moment they're still moving right now so we're okay mm -hmm. top eight from jonathan conley we have Judge Rulers. I don't know if you guys have ever used Judge Rulers before. Essentially, they're a long piece of acrylic, just like a regular range ruler, just a little longer than a standard range ruler. So not legal for standard range checking, but it has a line down the middle so you can get precise and perfect arc checks. It's awesome. Highly they're recommended. Incredible. They're so good. Top eight players will receive one of those. Shout out to Jonathan Conley. Hybrid Design, Benjamin from Hybrid Design. Top four Tri-City templates. Sleek, white acrylic with red inlay. Very, very nice. And then Ken Cho from District Foundry making us a amazing Tri-City Champion tournament box. And Pim Miniatures 
will be painting a custom ship of the winner's choice. That's what the winner is going to get. The box and a custom painted ship and then superlative prizes, Strata Strike, Wood Dial Covers. You don't Nick, have to make... Nick, we're at dice. We're at, we're at dice. dice. Oh, gosh. Back to the game. Back Enough about prizes. Game. But that is to fill you guys in if you didn't know about the prizes already. So this is... Uh, this is uh, Stefan's Gurry shooting into... Fen Rao, it looks Fen like. Fen Rao? Well, do you want the range to obstruct into Fen? I don't know if Fen has any Maybe tokens here. Maybe trying to finish off yellow. I didn't see where he pinged. Um, Safe. Yeah, it's rolled out of the two crits, so he's fine. Yep. Look at that. All right, so that'll be next. Neither yellow nor red are going to have a shot, so I guess we're going to go to other Guri, who does have just an arc, but also through a... I didn't see if that was, that was not through the cloud. Maybe it was. We'll see how they roll. That's how we and roll. <laughs> one hit is not a great shot, but it's no. from three range three. What can you expect? Artfully dodged. Those are the shots that always seem to do damage, though, for me at least. Right. Story so, of my life. Seriously, terrible. Wow, I gotta check in with. Uh, we're back to dials, by the way. We're back to so, dials. Let's just get uh, an update on the score here, real quick. It's 44 for Dan and zero for Stefan. No damage dealt. Uh, we're on pace for a tabling here, so we're gonna have to see what Stefan can do to try to get some damage in to Guri. Seems like the more not hittable, but because Guri he has more arcs, I think he can find a way to get a damage or two into Guri, especially when Fen is moving so fast and barreling in on you. Yeah. Yeah, Guri versus Guri, Matt. Um I uh <laughs> I I I had the plan to pick Dan Peterson. The Midwest scrub himself from the very beginning, uh, before the tournament even started. I'm like, I'm going to get Dan on stream first. And I didn't even look at his matchup list. Just so happened to be, because of course, another Gurry list. So, but yeah, it's a, it's a good challenge for these guys. For those of you just tuning in, uh, you may not know this, but uh, this is a Gurry only tournament. <laughs> it's a Gurry only tournament. <laughs> Versus Gurry matchups and different flavors throughout. Every list must run one fully stocked Gurry and do what they will with the rest of the points. That is the only <laughs> stipulation for this entire many hour tournament. All Gurry content all the time. All Gurry content all the time. <laughs> I got that right, right, Nick? That's all we're going to Yeah, 312 Squadron, your one stop <laughs> shop for Gurry. <laughs> and sometimes honestly, other stuff. Honestly, that kind of seems like, you know, those. Uh, yeah, everyone puts their hand on a car and the last Update person that to overlay. hand it off wins. Because we lost. Uh, what is he doing with the... Oh, he's just adjusting the cards. I was really... So if you guys didn't know, I don't know if anyone else is having this issue with TTS, but one of the players is ha can't see... I think... So Stefan can't see Dan's list. He just can't see it. Blank cards. Thought this issue was resolved. It must be a workshop error. Um, I don't know what else it could be. Very weird. But he knows you the list well enough. Yeah, so you can hover over it and it says what the card is. So you hover over Gurry and it says Gurry, you hover around maneuver, it says maneuver. Yeah. But if you like alt zoom in, it's just a white card still, which is very frustrating. Very frustrating. But, but uh, clearly he's a pro. So it's going to take the matter. opportunity to lock while they're facing the other direction. Yellow t mm -hmm. takes the target lock on Fen. Turning too hard in here with red. Like, hi, Gurry. I'm scared of you, Gurry. So I'm going to stay a little far away from you, Gurry. <laughs> Uh, ooh, is he going to take a lock? Away from Gurry, Gurry I think just... you focus here. You have to stop losing points. It's scary mm -hmm. if you take anything that you can't. He's like, I'm just going to grab the token. I'm, I'm sick of it. <laughs> he does take the lock. He's going to lock onto Fen as well. Okay. I think we might see... Yep, I was going to say one bank from Stefan's Gurry try to catch Fen Rao. Fen Rao has to do it too hard, I think. Avoid the gas cloud. Couldn't see their dial selections. Yeah, that's concerning. At least, you know, you can see them plan a different one if they wanted to try to take advantage of that. But it'll say what what how they moved in the chat. But that's very concerning. And here's another very, classic very... barrel roll. Oh, looks like he's gonna do the same maneuver he did last time. Oh, it's so nasty. Uh, this wow. is this is why a gurry gurry matchup if you don't have initiative is not a good time. Fen Rao, though, looks like Mike gets caught here. I think he still has Arc. It's close. 
But he should still catch the other Curry. Stefan's Curry. 312 Squadron. Home of the dumbest matchups. <laughs> Curry v. Curry. You know you want it. I was uh, I, I was known for for the GSP events picking really really interesting matchups, but one of the worst matchups I picked by accident was so essentially we had a Australia themed event, mm -hmm. and there's a popular Australian uh, X Wing content creator named Harry Nick. I don't know if you've ever heard of him before. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so I um, round one, I'm like I'm gonna have Harry Nick on stream, get the you know the Australian like X Wing ambassador on stream, get that out of the way, kind of set things up. He was flying a Boba Fett list, and his opponent was flying a two ship Boba Fett list, and it was uh, it was a rough game. I felt bad, but I I was like I just again had that plan, just like I had with Dan. I had that plan with Nick. Hmm. Maybe what we're learning is you need to alter your plans just ever so slightly. Just but so test like redeem Chicago in the chat, guys. If you want a little flavor of Chicago, I made this themed for the event. Ooh, redeem Chicago. Redeem Chicago. Shout out to the Blues Brothers. Oh, it looks like we've got some shots coming here. Here we go. Stefan's taking some shots. Got five dice out, which must mean it's that range one shot over there. So this is the initiative uh, four dice this here. This is. Four dice, excuse me. Yep. Yeah. Uh, he, Guri has the target lock. He that wants that fourth hit. Really he needs to do some damage to Fen here. Doesn't oh. get it. You cannot afford to spend the focus here. You just cannot. Three hits. Fen Rao will be rolling four at range one. Oh, he spends it. <gasps> oh, my God. He's playing he spends the it. Unbelievable, Fen Rao. Looks like this was an outmaneuvered Fen here because he didn't get the fourth die. He takes a single damage, takes not single even damage. points. Was it worth it? The answer is no. He's at the mercy of these die here. So recently has two green die. You can't keep getting away with it. He can't keep getting away with it. Okay, he took some. He took lots of hits. Why did he only roll three die? No, two die. Now? Outmaneuver. Right, outmaneuver. Thank Gurry you. Gurry takes half and is now down to just two hull. You see what happens when you spend. I think Stefan's just throwing in the towel, with spending the focus. Like I just want to deal with damage to Fen Rao, get half points, call it a day. Well, I, you know, I think there is some. some oops, yeah, I, I, uh, I, I think. think right. The you dice cam. To, at this point, he's got to play to his outs, and his outs are some luck on top of playing aggressively. That um, should be better for you, Ted. Uh, sorry about that. On the, you can't see it on the left, far left, or right. Cool. I was having issues yeah. getting the dice cam set up right before the tournament started, which was fun. Yeah, there looks we go. Like that should be better. Looks like this is red shots into. Thank Fen you Rao. for letting me know. And he'll pick up. Fen round takes half points. He Boom. takes half points. Boom. And so just, yes! This is what I was saying when uh, when I was saying, well, the he's he's really disfavored to win right now, Stefan is. So he has to play that aggressive move of spending that focus, even so though... 96 to 36 right now. How about that? Let's ch let's check up on what we got here. Did we get any direct hits? Did we get any it fits? We... Uh, we didn't get obstacle damage. We didn't get an evade action. We got a reroll... Blank. Mm, we didn't get that. We didn't get a total whiff either. I mean, I think Gurry did Gurry whiff though, Alec. I can't remember. I know he took a ton of damage there. He might have completely whiffed. No, he. Well, I think he had an eyeball, out? but he didn't. Oh yeah. It. Well, he he yeah. Got... He wished he had the focus still. <laughs> that was a I bold mean, move. He wouldn't have half points right now. I think you know, in that mo in that moment when you're looking at this with the time and what what's left on the table, I think you got to take those aggro hits, even though it's such a rough spot. Absolutely. How about that? So we'll see how things shape up here in this last round. Right now, obviously, Stefan is on the back foot, but that makes for the best gameplay here. <laughs> did it pay off? That was a bold move, Cotton. Nope, it did not pay off. Um, so now we're gonna have we're gonna see Red probably do a one hard in, maybe a two hard, get a little hug the gas cloud there. Uh, yellow. Wait, who just said it didn't pay off? Was that you or is that someone in the chat? Uh, well, the it didn't pay off for for Stefan's Gurry spending the focus token there was a 
brutal decision. Counterpoint, he, he now has half points on Fenrir that he would not have had. Counterpoint, he lost half points on Curry because, uh, in, in part because of... It's a, We can counterpoint that one all day. So he lands on the gas cloud here. He's going straight. Ooh, gas cloud. No, no. Yeah. He takes the consequences. Takes the consequences. Let's see... I'm impressed with how quick these two are. They must be real familiar with these lists. And real <laughs> oh, yeah, they're both they probably big Gurry fans. <laughs> Let's There's see, no what kind of bid is... Stefan has an 11-point bid with this list. You will never outbid another Gurry player with an 11-point bid. Uh, it just won't happen. You will outbid Republic players, Republic aces with that bid in most other lists, named pilot aces lists. Mm-hmm. So I'll, you, I'll have you know, Alec, you might be proud of me. The other night I played I on the Nickel City X-Wing stream. Yeah, um, yeah. And there's this list. It's four A-Wings, RZ2 A-Wings with Prockets, Heroic, Advanced mm -hmm. Optics. Have you heard about that list? It's like... Uh, no, nah, but it sounds like a dream. <laughs> uh, it's horribly deadly. It's very good, you know. I brought Luke and two E-Wings. And I'm like, this is a horrible matchup for me. The Prockets, everything. And I won by like 140 points i was like wow it was a it was a a really bloody Honestly, game <laughs> until i meet someone else with the same credentials or better uh, i'm gonna just slot you in as the top e-wing player yes <laughs> hey no i'll, I'll take it has an affection for e-wings like you oh i love e-wings so we're moving a little bit here gurry turning in facing down red uh you don't mind staying there and he does he just that's going to be an outmaneuvered through the gas cloud shot with the strain. So the seek is going to be rolling. It'll be four minus two, two dice because of the Damn. strain. But we'll have uh, Stefan's Gurry is going to have Dan's Gurry outmaneuvered. <laughs> so there's going to be some double outmaneuvered. Double outmaneuver with Gurry's. What happens to the this bingo the if you get a buy? Um, if you get a buy... <sighs> Uh, you know what? I'm going to say it just doesn't, nothing happens. You just got to play bingo for your next game. Ben uh, Tommy, you're a good player. And, and so I expect that you'll, Ooh. you'll play well. So, um, <laughs> I'd be more willing to just give you a free bingo. Put that in the box. Get in the box. Go pick up your eyes. Put them in the box. There we go. There we go. Uh, oh. Didn't uh, anything, it didn't matter. That's another. That's one, that's, one that's a dead yellow. Oh no, that's it. That's. That it's not every day Fen Rao gets to kill something at range three, but when he does. <laughs> yeah, but what I do, I prefer those seconds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got another shot coming in here. We got Dan's uh, Gurry shooting at. Nope. Sorry. We've got uh, Stefan's Gurry shooting at Fen Rao. Ooh, an outmaneuver shot into Fen Rao here, not going into Gurry. Because, you know, it's on top. You have a chance of killing Fen Rao here. That's could be, that could be a big yeah. deal. Oh. Reroll that die. So he's got two hits already. He keeps rolling out of the box. We'll get there eventually, folks. Two hits. Two. No, uh, lock. no target lock. Fenrau has a focus. Should be fine. Oh. Rolls natties. Natties. Put it on the board. You can put it on the board. Yes. Natties. Yep. That's what he needed. And remember, a shot like that could totally have turned the, the tide of this game. I still would take Dan's untouched Gurry over... Stefan's list, even without Fen Rao. I, at, this truly, stage, at this stage, at this stage, absolutely. But with such a large top 16, you know, points, are I think, are really going to matter. Oh, yeah, MOV will Very definitely fun. matter here. Four hits, though. This is from Gur the uh, Dan's Gurry here. All the Gurries. Uh, Roll too many dice. Should be two to... Uh... Hold on. The strain... One second, let me jump down there. 
Okay, folks, Nick's gonna jump over and talk to Hey, hey guys, sorry, one second. Um, was the Red Seek strained here for the shot? I, I, or it was... Yes. Oh, it was. And then outmaneuvered yeah. to two dice, right? Yeah, so he Thanks, should guys. have... All right, I'm gonna, pl gonna roll that one back. He rolled one too many defense dice for the Red Seek because he had a strain and he's outmaneuvered by Guri. Nick, math is hard, and it's good that we're here keeping people honest. Oh, yeah. Math is, uh, and I'm, I'm really bad at it. <laughs> I thought I, I used to be better at math in school, but you know what, man? When you're out of college and you haven't taken a math class in a while, it, it wears you down a little bit. All right, so there is an eyeball and an evade. So red is going to take an additional damage. So that's half points on red and one away. back to some dials well it looks like this is Dan this is dan's game to lose so how is yeah. stefan gonna rack up as many points as he can i think uh well fen rao i think was and always you know will be remain with 25 minutes left in this game uh the target priority here uh reddit is in a bad spot though because of the inability to kind of hop over the you can hop over the gas cloud we don't really have any place to go without bumping Gurry can probably do an advanced sensors barrel roll and then one hard. So I could, I see Dan doing a, a barrel roll up, up the board here. Let me right. change yeah. colors to spectator so people can kind of see what I'm talking about for a second. You're on bingo duty for a second here. Um, okay. So I kind of see Gurry doing a one bank up this way and then one harding. Uh, that would probably put him in a good spot to finish off Red or Stefan's Gurry and that would be the game. That would... Seal the deal for good. Yeah, it's really hard. I mean, where's red possibly going to go this turn? I mean, going over the gas cloud doesn't seem great. Turning away doesn't seem great. It's a hard little spot to be in. Yeah. We're moving, though. Now, here's what you can do. You can do a K-turn. <laughs> At least get some vision on the bottom corner of the board here. Gurry's coming in. Yep, Gurry bar barreling in. Clearing that stress. And. Uh, is, that's a bad spot to be. If you're stuff like, you know that there's a Van Sensors barrel roll one hard coming in here. So what, wh how, what can you do to kind of avoid that? I'm not sure if there is anything you can do. He's going to barrel roll all the barrel way back. Rolling. Barrel roll and. Probably and link to a calculate here. I think that's probably the safe move. Have a, an extra mod in case Scurry is too close. He's, he is link. Oh, oh, advanced sensor is a calculate. So not doing what I thought he was going to do. He's slooping over the cloud instead. Yeah. Uh, interesting. Um, I mean, there's no bad moves here uh, for Dan. He's, he's doing well. He's fine. But that wasn't what I expected. Hi, hi Groff. Thank you for the follow. Fen, just turning around. Uh, probably just boost up and out. Get out of range. Take a focus, right? Or why I don't know why you would stay there, especially yeah, I mean, when you're being outmaneuvered. Barrel rolling. Yeah, you... yeah uh, Matt, did you think that the one bank or the one the bendy barrel roll up one hard in was? I thought that would have been the move. Maybe you didn't think it would fit. It's possible. Dan rarely yep. sleeps. You love to see it. You love to see new stuff on stream. <laughs> like I said, you know this is Dan's game to lose, and so I think he's now kind of in damage mitigation mode and maybe if he foresaw that as a risky move he was like i have i have enough of a margin here it's not worth it yeah he's gonna take a little maybe perhaps a little extra here though he's so a lot of green dye. this is a you, you the seek wishes it had out maneuver on gurry right now <laughs> gurry is strained uh but unfortunately not rolling there's only one crit gurry has a calculate he almost whiffs but it gets the evade he needs would have been a big deal taking one shield on a, on a touch curry. <laughs> it adds up, right? It uh, it does. It adds up. up if you have more ships to to yeah. play with. This is true. Yeah. So let's talk about Stefan's game here. Um, honestly, it's hard for me to really dive into analysis very deep because of the the massive handicap that a Gurry list has when moving first against a gurry list uh -huh. <laughs> it you just don't you run out of options for your the targets you want to be going for the only shots that he could have gotten consistent 
fire through on would have been on to Fen, but Fen was always at range one with a token. So that just kind of takes that ability away. The Seeks, I think he could have been a little bit more, um, a little less aggressive with the Seeks and, and not gone as fast and committed um, as, as quick. Uh, but uh, that's probably the only thing I can say is that maybe he overcommitted early. That's the only thing with the Seek Fighters. He, they didn't do anything to help him in this turn. So that'll probably be what he tries to adjust going into his next game, is how his Seeks can uh, help him do more damage. Yeah, I think that's a great way to look at it. And obviously, there's a high risk reward here. Like we, we noted in that first maneuver when he lined up his bullseyes. Um, had, you know, something magically been in that range, that would have been a really deadly line to be in but obviously when you play against a highly removable list like this one uh you can't exactly count on that all yeah. the time if you guys didn't know this is a collaborative uh tournament which means that there are two other amazing people streaming this event that uh helped put this event together i am the lead tor tournament organizer but they are awesome i'm trying to shout them out here but their shout out isn't popping up there it is so follow nickel city x-wing it's greg cash nickel city x-wing and sam rossian at the candid clarinetist Go ahead and check them out. We're moving. We're taking all kinds of tokens here. Okay. No, you only get one focus. <laughs> <laughs> we have almost 40 people watching right now. I love 40 people. We are doing giveaways, folks. If you like the prizes you saw, if you want a Vader alt art, we're doing some subscri subscriber giveaways. 15 subs. I'll be giving away some vader defender pilot cards that i made which is cool a strain for a gas cloud yeah he hopped over again mm -hmm. so interesting i guess dan is not really too concerned with what gray because fen Rao will just wrap things up uh it looks like he didn't he did bump so gray won't be shooting into into stefan's but i'm tired of saying gray isofane what's up how's it going man We got shots here. Here we go. Yep. This is this is Fen Rao's. Yep. That's pretty good. He woo, spends woo, for woo. everything. Four and a crit. Woo. Fen Rao doing Fen Rao things. Woo! That's the game. Gurry explodes in fiery chasm. Well, really enjoyed watching that game. Great flying from both. Obviously, having the bid on your Gurry over the opponent's Gurry can really add up, and we saw that really shine for dan here throughout yeah dan is uh dan knows what he's doing with gurry he mm -hmm. i love to talk shop with him about that list because it's a lot of fun it's really hard though but a lot of fun see if they keep going here uh personally i know some people never concede no matter what i i concede in these situations but um just gives yourself you're, an extra break like gives you an extra 20 minutes you're a quitter nick I am a quitter, a yeah. Quitter. The other day, I my my league game, I had a really bad league game, and I had Kylo down to one hole, so I just flew him off the board with like 10 minutes left or 15 <laughs> minutes left in the game. Like, good game, man. I don't want to give him the satisfaction. That's the thing. Right. I don't want to give him the satisfaction of killing Kylo. I'll do it myself. It's fine. Right. I'll run <laughs> off in the, into space and be in the next movie. That's what I'm going to do with Kylo. Exactly. Um, I'll no, be back. All, all kidding aside, you, uh, you, you bring up a good point. This is a long day. We've got, we've got game scheduled, what, until 6 Central? Is that it? 5 Central? Something like that? Yeah, 6 rounds uh, of X-Wing today. We'll have a break so after round 3. You know, and making a series of small decisions in one game is one thing, but doing them over the course of multiple games can really add up. And if you yeah. save that mental load for a bit, uh, it's worth it in the end. So, yeah. I, I, you know, I buy the concession here, particularly in a... Uh, yeah, I mean, if you think you game. have a chance, like if you think that there's a fringe chance where you can kill Fenrau here, you keep going. But I mean, just look at the position of the Seek. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. Yeah. It, sadly, um, I don't take any joy in saying that. Obviously, you know, I, I've been where Stefan has been, like, you know, having down your last ship in a bad spot. You know, it looks like he's just going to hop over the, the gas cloud there. That gas cloud. At this point, it should have dissipated from all the people flying through it. It should have just kind of spread out. And we're gonna get a no a. consequences. No, it does take does take the strain. Do the crime, you do the time. Oh yeah. Dory's like, yeah, I'll be back. Eh, I don't really care. Yeah, he's already out of arc. 
Take a target lock. Loves putting his tokens in the in the board here. Do those show up on the stream when, or is it only dice that show up on the stream when they're in the box? Uh, well, it's it's anything in that dice box. There's just I have my second computer, uh, capturing yeah. it. So whatever they put in there, you can see. Uh -huh. Yeah. Looks like a shot on Fen Rao this round. No, I can't quite tell. Got nothing going here. We're gonna go back really quick. No, no shots. So we're really not. quick. Go ahead, Nick. We got forty people watching right now. What's up, guys? My name is Nick Sperry, and I'm joined by Alex Ayer. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a moment. Okay. We got. <laughs> We've been talking Alex. over each other just like that every time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's been a pretty. We got some bloody games for all the streamers so far. Sam's game ended immediately. You guys see up over here, over here. Whoop, 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 up there. Those are the par some of the participation prizes, the ones that I contributed for the Tri City tournament. I'd love to give away some of those. The uh, the giveaway, oh man, the the sub goal things are not working. Ooh, Fifteen subs, and I'm gonna give away some Vader Vader cards. I also have a bunch of stuff from Worlds over here, um, and some hyperspace tournaments and other events like. Uh, so we got, um, Kylo Ren, gold, let's try to focus on that real quick, there we go, Kylo Ren gold card, um, Jack Porkins pilot card, because of who doesn't love Jack Porkins, uh, St. R. Jameis pilot, another world's card, Benthic two tubes card, R double sided, Edrio on the other side, you guys love our, our tubes, Stealth Device, full art, for those that did miss out on this, Plo Koon, this is a big one. I'd love to give this away. Love to, ooh, very shiny. Plo Koon World's card. And then I got a couple of the hyperspace uh, trial top finisher. Kylo Ren's. And I have other stuff to give away as well, but I don't want to spoil it all in the first round. Um, so consider supporting the stream. Those that subscribe will have a higher chance of winning those uh, giveaways. So yeah. Let's move the That's alert box. That's some good stuff. That's yeah, some man. good, good stuff. It's some good stuff. Maybe I'll even subscribe. Oh, that would be crazy. You Maybe I'll that. do it. You Let's know what? I think I got my free prompt. You know what? For those of you who don't know, for those of you with Amazon Prime accounts, you get that free Twitch sub every month. And I got one of those. I think I'm going to use that for 312 this month. Oh, maybe. maybe. Shout out to, uh, ooh, I don't want to butcher this name. Z Zeta's theory for the subscription. Thank you guys so much. Spike Spiegel. You guys are awesome. I want to give this stuff away so bad. Um, I appreciate all the support. You guys are, it really genuinely means a lot. And I love being a part of the XN community. I'm probably still really blurry right now. Really gurry. Should be Stefan better. Stefan has given us, uh, he's, he's playing a brand new game. Uh, What's he up to? Red, red, how many red tokens can I put on my ship? Uh, that's his new game plan. It's his own little sub game of solitaire, and I think he's having a good time with it. Paul the Tartan, Paul the Tartan Tuscan. I love that name. So here's Fence shot into the Red Seek pain. Mm, hit hit crit crit, work. and that's it. That's, that's the game. game, folks. That is the game. With Do you mind thanking them in the chat for me? Hold on, let me see. Thanks, I'll, guys. I'll, I'll. Can you see this? Can you see that in the chat? Yes. Oh. All right. Always got up the last word, Nick. Jeez. <laughs> I can't, I can't. 